Welcome back to the Two Dudes, One Dredge, Mining Alaska YouTube channel. I've uh, gotten up here a day before James and I'm gonna be running the four by myself, the old Franken Dredge. It's a little easier to handle and James actually has the two motors for the six inch, so I'm gonna be running the four. I've got uh, it all put together and set up downstream here. Got a pan with all my gear. I'm already suited up, ready to go, and uh, hopefully I can get you guys some decent footage. This is actually the spot with all that fine gold that I did some testing down here a few videos ago. It's uh, adjacent to and just a little bit downstream of the uh, the cut my uh, claim neighbor took and um, we're gonna be uh, hopefully getting into some nice gold here. I'll get some uh, decent underwater footage of that super interesting clay layer that is just full of perfectly spherical bits of quartz and other weird stuff. Uh, Never seen anything quite like it, so I'm uh, I'm just excited to get back in the water. It's towards the end of the season here, so hopefully we can squeeze another couple videos out for you before uh, the water stops being liquid. But uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. So I just finished a little short run. I am uh, freezing cold. I didn't seal up my uh, neck gasket in my dry suit very well, so I'm a little wet. And uh, it's not very helpful that the water temperature is pretty close to what the air temperature is. We we're supposed to get lows in the uh, high 30s Fahrenheit. That's uh, three, two or three Celsius not great but got the wall tent and the wood stove and stuff like that so we should stay warm but uh, here's the very little bit of uh, cons left in the gold hog mat which is why I love it you got to run it a little soft but there's a fair bit of uh, gold hiding in here right behind this big bar 
up in the blue stuff there. A little piece right here. Not too bad. So I'm going to get this cleaned up really quick and uh, go warm up and get something to eat and probably call it an early night and wait for James to get up here tomorrow. All right, got my gold all cleaned up. Got a very nice surprise. Gorgeous little like crystalline specimen type piece. Almost a tenth of a gram. Let's see how we did on the rest of this. My goodness. Just shy of a gram. Real short run. I got cold. I got wet. I gave up. And uh, that's awesome. We're going to have to spend some more time down there on the four or move the six down there next season and uh, see how we do. We'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow. I might get another short run in before James gets up here. Um, next time you see me might be with uh, James in tow. So we'll catch you tomorrow, day two. Well, here's a lightly requested tour our little wall tent um my cot sleeping bag pillow etc little bedside table here's our workbench classifiers gold cleanup stuff dirty old hat uh all that sort of stuff we clear it off sometimes and play cards james's cot Here's our bread and butter, though, the wood-fired stove. Plenty of uh, wood we've been hauling up here over the summer months, and now that it's getting towards fall and colder and whatnot, it's much required for uh, drying out wet gear, wet raincoat, wet flannel, rained on puffy coat, wet pants, wet towel, all sorts of stuff. It's a little humid, but... Can't really go wrong with that stuff. It's a sizable tent. It's a uh, really comfortable, really changes the game as far as uh, prospecting goes. We can stay up here well into the fall where last year we were really struggling sleeping on the ground in tents, stuff like that. But here it is. Here's our humble abode that uh, has been treating us quite well all year this year. Super glad we got it. And uh, there you go. Good morning, it's day two and uh, no sign of James yet, so I'm suited up. I'm going to take another run with the four and see if we can find another gram or two and keep pugging into this uh, white clay layer, but it just absolutely dumped rain all night last night. I could hardly sleep, it was so loud pounding on the tent, but uh, water's pretty mucky and turbid and I don't know what kind of visibility we'll have, so we might skip the underwater footage today and I'll just uh, jump to uh, results, clean up, all that good stuff, and uh, hopefully James will be up here soon and we can get the six inch running. There's one more little run with the four. and. Get this uh, cleaned up and show you guys. I just had to show you guys this. Another like hour, hour and a half maybe. Beautiful pan of gold. Plenty of fine stuff. I'm shocked at how well the, the gold hog mats are capturing that fine stuff. I'm probably running that Honda motor. Three quarters wide open pretty hot and it's capturing so much fine gold so I know I'm blowing out some. We need to get the six down here. It's got that uh, third stage on the keen sluice. It should be able to capture even more than I'm doing right now and the overburden is so thin we could we could clean up two three grams of shift down here no problem. Uh, I can't wait to show James this. There it is. Another gram with the four inch, and uh, that's two grams for three hours of work running the four down there. 
couple of bigger pieces and that's what we like to see. So we might uh, might have to think about moving the six down there either this season or next, but uh, there's some good gold downstream for sure. So let's uh, check in with you guys later when we're uh, running the six or running the four or moving the boat, whatever we end up doing, we'll, uh, we'll give you a shout. All right, welcome back guys. It is still day two. James has arrived, so we're Woo! getting back in the water in this big hole with the six inch. We're gonna make sure that the gold up here is worth it or we're gonna move the boat. That's our decision to make tonight. So we're uh, gonna get after it here for a few hours and we'll show you if we find anything uh, worthwhile. Get cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. All right, we're cleaning up first run. Technically day two of the six inch. Day one for the six inch. Looks like we're possibly on to gold. We both have mixed feelings about that. This is the amount of overburden that we have to go through to get it. We'll weigh this up and figure out whether we move the boat or not. It's got to be a pretty good way up though, so we'll show you guys that in a bit. All right, there you go, guys. That's the uh, hour and a half, two hours on the big dredge and the old hole. Point six. I think it's going to be uh, probably worth it for us to move the boat, but we do have one little clunker here. Really nice chunk of gold. Oh, that's always a nice sound. But um, I think we've matured as gold miners. We know that big gold doesn't always mean the most gold. So we're going to have something to eat and discuss and figure out if we uh, move the boat or not. Good morning, everybody. It is day three for me, day two with the six inch put together. And we ended up moving the boat. We figure uh, an hour a gram with the four inch uh, should translate to about the same, if not more, per hour with the six inch down here. And uh, we put in a full day, eight hours, eight plus grams of gold. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal to us. So we're gonna hit this little spot hard and push on upstream as far as we can and uh, poke around and see what we find and we'll uh, get you some underwater footage and show you the gold here in a little bit. there is one heck of a cleanup guys we uh ran for about two hours and the one gram an hour deal is uh staying true so we're gonna keep after it down there i'm gonna take a shift we'll run a little bit hotter see if the gold stays good and the mats can keep capturing it and we're gonna just dredge the fetish out of that hole for sure so all right quick break for lunch and we're back at it i'm suited up my turn in the water we're gonna get the boat put back together and uh, dive right back in. I'll
All right, guys. So we stopped for a pee break. Brandon needed to take five. We decided to take a look in the box, and uh, we were pretty much blown away. So take a look at these. These are some chunky, chunky monkeys right there, guys and gals. Uh, seriously, looks like I'm going to have to eat crow on this one. Brennan has been lobbying to move the boat for uh, for a little while, bring it down with the 4-inch. And I I know when it, when it, enough to when, say when I was wrong, and I was a naysayer, man. I was wrong. James is back in the water. I ran my two hour shift, we gas back up the motors and we're gonna keep hitting this spot. Uh, those two clunkers I went up and weighed, it's almost one and a half grams, just those two pieces of gold. So we are pretty darn excited to be back on this good of gold. And uh, James is gonna run for another hour or so. He's been at it for about an hour already. And then um, I'm gonna hop right back in and take another shift before it gets dark and cold. So. Hopefully we got a big way up tonight and we can uh, leave happy and maybe sneak in one or two more uh, mining trips this season before the snow starts falling. All right, y'all. That's the end of our third day. Third and final, actually. Short trip, but probably one of our better. Here's those uh, chunkier bits from earlier. It's a point. 887 plus another point five I can't do math plus another point five three one for a one four total just those guys and then here's the rest of what we dredged up today down in that clay layer Oh my goodness. That's the best day we've had dredging minus finding that big old nugget uh, ever. So this is a historic day for two dudes one dredge. We are definitely going to get back up here and hit that spot at least one more time. Uh, just a bananas amount of gold down there in that clay and uh, easy dredging, shallow down to it. Not a ton of overburden to move, so we are uh, looking forward to getting another couple of trips out of this season. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you can stick around and follow us into the off season. We'll try and get some content made up for you guys and get you a little highlight reel and uh, season synopsis maybe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.